Hello everyone, welcome to this video where we'll introduce the concept of a null reference. In Java, variables that are of reference type can be assigned a reserved value called null. So for example, we can have a variable of type airplane, let's call it p, and instead of assigning it to a new airplane, as we've done in, in previous examples, let's assign it a value of null. Now, what this means is that our variable p isn't referencing an actual object. It's not referencing anything at the moment, hence the name null. So let's print out p to the console and see what we get. So system.out.println and inside of the parentheses I want to print p. And let's run our project. Once we run the project, Java is going to print out null as that's what P is pointing to at the moment. It's not pointing to anything really. And the project finishes successfully. Having a variable pointing to null doesn't cause any problems as such at this point. However, one thing to be careful in Java or in any other language that supports null references is when you use them to access any of their methods or any of their fields. So for example, we can call p.land, so we can call the land method and we can run the code again to see what happens. You will see that Java now prints out an exception, which is this one over here. And it tells us that the exception was caused at the line where, the, where we call p.land. So it tells us that the exception uh, happened in line 10, which is exactly in our p.land method. This is what is called a null pointer exception in Java. And it is caused because we try to invoke a method or access a member from a variable, in our case p, that is not pointing to an actual object. The second thing to notice is that this time the exit code is not zero. This means that the program didn't terminate successfully. In our case, there was an exception and the program terminated abruptly. To see what we mean by that, let's print an additional message after we call p.land and run the code again. So we're gonna print, let's say, end of program, and I'm gonna run my code again. Now you're gonna notice that this message, the end of program message, wasn't printed out. That is because the program terminated at the point of the exception, that is in line 10. We're gonna cover exceptions and how to handle those in later courses. So to recap what we covered in this video, we introduced the concept of null references, we saw an example of what happens when we try to invoke a method on a variable that is referencing null. And that's it for this video. We hope you found it useful. Thanks for watching, everyone.